All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a long awaited video from some of y'all. A lot of y'all wanted me to make a video focusing on this person. And I'm not gonna lie, before anybody dislikes this video, I'm not, I don't think this person's really doing anything necessarily wrong at all. They're making their money, they're doing their thing, they're bagging pretty much. This person's probably making like a million a year off YouTube by this point. So they're doing their thing, right? That's great. But my channel is dedicated to giving my thoughts on stuff I see online. And this video is exactly that. I think AFMA's content is pretty bad. All right, that's just my opinion. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about it and going over it so consider subscribing and like the video if you want and let's talk about it so believe it or not afma actually used to make some pretty decent content here on youtube i don't i don't even really watch the let's play videos at all i stopped watching that after like probably middle school right i just kind of grew out of it not that there's anything wrong with watching them but you know what i'm saying but she would make videos where she's not like over exaggerating everything that's going on and she would just you know simply play the game i'll show you a little clip of one of her older videos let's take him out again are you so dumb Critical hit, yes, and Charmillion levels up. Oh, I'm loving this. I am, oh, that Metapod is mine. That Metapod is so mine. All right, I should have used this in the beginning, but whatever, I'm here now, and also, I only have five Pokemon. When I watch this, I think of just two friends having fun playing a Minecraft Pokemon game, right? I think it's called Pixelmon, right? It seems pretty genuine. It doesn't look like anything's really forced at all. Uh, you know, I'm vibing with the video. It's not too bad. I don't watch this type of content, but I'm not gonna sit here and say it's bad. But I'm gonna give y'all one of her newer videos as an example to kind of like validate my point I'm trying to make. And it's not even really a point. It's just my opinion. I'm not trying to say y'all should all think her content is bad. Like, nah, this is just me giving my opinion. Y'all can disagree. Y'all can agree. Y'all can do whatever you want. But first video we're gonna be looking at is, uh, who's your big daddy in Minecraft? What the fuck? These adorable babies will explode. Explode, and these dads have to stop them. Me and my friends play Who's Your Daddy in Minecraft. Yo, 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 yo. What's with the voice? Like, you know, I could use my radio voice if I wanted to. And I actually I used to talk like this a lot in my older videos until I realized it was soul draining. I'm assuming she's just using this voice for the video to keep the children's attention and stuff like that. But uh, it is so damn forced. You get what I'm saying? Like, this is, this is already just so commercial and so unauthentic, you feel? Me. And these babies have the most hilarious ways to destroy themselves. But Team Dad has the tools to make these babies follow the rules. Team Dad has the tools to make these babies follow the rules. Yeah, that was definitely in a script. When did YouTube get so commercial? Like, you know, I already know that it's it's really, really commercial nowadays and people have to fake their energy for their videos and they have to fake their tone and all that stuff. But like, what? when was the year that it just started becoming like a popular thing to do? Like 2017, 2018 maybe? And now it's just this cesspool of a bunch of YouTubers that are doing this type of thing, you know? I mean, somebody on the other side could argue, oh, but you know, it works for the kids. You know, you have to use that fake tone and that fake energy with the kids. So so they can get excited. First of all, that doesn't make any sense. Second of all, kids like watching and listening to things that don't make them feel stupid. You get what I'm saying? Like when I was a kid, I did not, I hated when people tried to make me feel stupid, even though I was right. Cause we're all stupid as kids. I mean, you could use that argument for toddlers maybe, but like how many toddlers are on YouTube? Why aren't they on YouTube for kids? You get me? All I'm trying to say here is that Afma is talking to her audience, like, <laughs> like they're two years old and her audience is probably around like, 10 years old average or something like that, right? You don't gotta talk to a 10 year old like they're stupid. 10 year olds are conscious of a lot of things already. It's not like you're their mom teaching them something. You're a YouTuber that they watch, bro. Like you don't even sound like you're really like connecting with your audience. It just sounds like you're reading a script that like some network gave you. They're like, ah, oh, make this Minecraft video and you have to read this script exactly how it's written. Let's see if they can catch us. Yeah, we gotta get away from the dance. Ooh, I'm excited. I know, we got and this. We got oh, this. All right, you kiddos. Ah, let's whoa. make sure we stay nice and still right where you are. Is that yeah, right, Kim? Yeah, daddy's in charge. Yeah, yeah. and as your daddy's, we're gonna make sure that you're fed. <laughs> and then, uh, hey, wait, 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 where hey, are you going? Hey, no, hey. Am I the only one that's just thinking this is like the definition of forced you know you could argue back in the day scott is minecraft was kind of doing the same thing and i would say yes but to a degree right there was at least some layer of authenticity with his content and and i just can't sense a single real emotion out of this i feel like it's all fake and also the editing like <laughs> the editing is crazy first of all like i'm not gonna sit here and say the editing is bad but it's just a lot right like i'm not trying to have a flash on my screen every two seconds with text showing ah uh, but 
Poncho, you do the same thing, man. You, you be editing your videos quite a bit. Yeah, but I'm not like over editing. You get me? This is over editing right here. And if you can't tell the difference, then I, I don't know. I'm sorry, bro. And you know, there are cases where over editing is acceptable, like documentary videos. You know, I see a lot of YouTubers on here doing that, but this is a fucking let's play video, bro. Like, I guess we touch an outlet like that. Daddy, I'm hungry. Can you You're make hungry? me some food? Yeah, okay, hungry. yeah, yeah. Can uh, I have some you, food, please? You keep an eye on that, foul. Yeah, no, we're definitely done watching that. I'm gonna show y'all another one, though, just to kind of, like, solidify my, uh, opinion on why I think her content is bad. So, Afma has a blind date in Minecraft. <laughs> All right. My best friends have pranked everyone on this Minecraft server. Thankfully, my secret I want no one to know is safe. I mean, you just told everybody, uh, in, in the video has 3 million views, so I think they know by now, uh. But when someone finds out, they use my secret against me to get back at my friends and make me go on a Minecraft blind date. I mean, isn't any date on the internet a blind date because you can't see them? I get it, it's a video for kids, but these kids are not fucking two years old, bro. And again, I can respect the hustle, you know, this person's definitely popular on YouTube, they're doing a great job but I could never really force myself to watch this type of content. It's just not for me. I don't think it's even for 10 year olds. I think it's for maybe five year olds or under. Now my friends are jealous and are going to hunt down whoever my blind date is. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Is she spoiling the entire like video? I mean, if that's the case, then I can click out now. I, I don't have to watch this video. And before a smart ass comes to my comment section and is like, oh, but Poncho, if you, if you talk about what's going on in the video, it's gonna it, it increase the watch retention. I know I get it. I'm just giving y'all a reason why I think it's a little corny, right? I don't think it's dumb. I don't think it's it she shouldn't be doing it. I just think it's corny. My secret vault. <laughs> All my treasure and everything. Yeah, it's gold and emeralds and maybe some diamond armor, but my real treasure's right here. Look at this. All these diamonds and all these beacons in my diary and a pickaxe of fortune. Ah, I have to keep it a secret, an absolute secret. That's why I have all of these secret doors right here. They really come after me if they knew. Huh? What the? What was that? <laughs> uh, see? Ooh. Now that's how you pull a prank. Did I kind of see this coming? Yes. Why? Because it's scripted. Somebody could say that, you know, scripting videos isn't really a bad thing. I remember back in the day, in the earlier days of this channel, I actually used to kind of script my videos, but I wasn't trying to deliver it like I was reading a script. You get what I'm saying? Like, I was just trying to deliver it naturally. But yeah, that's all I really got. Let me know what you think in the comments section about Afma's channel. I know there's going to be a bunch of people that are like, oh, well, I like her content. I don't think it's that bad. I think you're just overreacting. And listen, I'm not even really caring much about this person. It's just a video idea and if you want to watch her videos go ahead but you know have fun being talked to like you're a little baby anyways i hope y'all have a good one and i'll catch y'all tomorrow peace